to another um uh, mukbang monday welcome back to another mukbang monday but before we get any further into the video make sure you like comment subscribe and most of all share this video with your friends and family that would mean a lot to me so today's mukbang i got a zesty salad um it looks all right because i normally go to kaya views Zazkies and get a salad but no I didn't feel like driving that far to Zazkies when we got a Zazkies right right up the street so yeah it doesn't look that presentable but because Kaya Bills they do theirs so neat like they have that cheese in one corner tomatoes you know what I don't even see the cucumbers oh it's right here yeah, but I'm not gonna eat the bread because I don't try to eat too much bread in one week. So I'm gonna put that to the side. But today's topic, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about how, you know, because school just recently started. And oh, I'm gonna see what I can put in. Yeah. So like I was saying, school recently just started. You know what? They ain't even give me no knife neither. See, kind of you, they give me napkins, a fork, a knife, dressing. They give me everything, but that's okay. Ooh, I just try to chop it up with this knife. It's okay. And I did wash my hands and I said my prayer already. So, I'm good to go. But today's topic is going to be about how school is going and I, and organizational tips I can give you for a college student or for high school, or even middle school, or maybe even elementary because things change day to day even. And I'm sure they change year to year. So I like to like chop my stuff up and then mix it up. But... Mm. We're gonna see what it's worth in week though. Winchester. I keep saying Winchester. I mean Hess Cross. Hess Cross. Zazby. This is where I got this from. I keep saying Winchester. I don't know why y'all. But y'all know what I'm talking about. If you're from the Memphis area, then you know, you know. But if you don't, then well, I just told you. <laughs> so my first day of class was Tuesday. Um it was, I only had one class, so I only had an English class, and everything is virtually, so I had a Zoom. Um, in Zoom, we got to show our face, well, for, for that particular teacher, and another teacher that I have, we have to show our face, and it's like, uh, because it's like, but it's like, when you think about it, if you guys were in person, you would have to show your face because you're physically there. So it's like, you can't be too mad at it, but it's like, since it's online and it's like, you kinda at home doing your own thing a little bit, it's like, why should I even show my face at this point in week? You know, as long as I'm logged in and you see my name up there, then I should be good or even my picture, but you know, they wanna be able to communicate with you and have discussions with you so you just can't like uh not show your face but yeah so tuesday i have tuesdays and thursdays and fridays i have one class um so tuesdays and thursdays i have an english lecture and then friday i have i thought math i mean i thought fridays i have three classes but i had woke up friday and like you know what i only got one i was so happy y'all because friday i just wasn't in the mood to do three classes because Monday and Wednesdays I have three classes but Monday was in the MLK day so we didn't have no class so first day of class was Tuesday so that was really good I have a math on Friday and then Mondays and Wednesdays I have um a lab to English and then math I take three times a week and then I have a lab for um, English. 
I'm sorry, I got the TV on. I'm looking at because y'all think comment down below if you guys watch this show called 911. It recently just premiered for his for its fourth season Monday. But I be watching it on Hulu because I like to catch up like that way instead of watching it on TV. But yeah, comment down below what show. There's a lot of stuff coming back. I'm getting off topic, but comment down below what shows y'all are watching. Is there any new shows that you guys suggest for me to watch? Because with the days that I get bored or have free time, then I'll look into it. But anyway, so my schedule is pretty good. It's, I take five classes a semester. And if you guys don't know, I'm a marketing major. And then um, my last class doesn't start until March. So it's a B class. So a B class is an eight week class so it's just eight weeks period so kind of like spring one and spring two so my last class of the semester i don't take into spring two so that's pretty good and then um and if you're a college student i suggest you guys if you have one of those classes where all the assignments are already signed for that semester try to get a jump start on it try to get ahead because of my accounting literally we just started school last tuesday and i'm done with accounting i just got two more class two more lessons too and then i'm done because he assigned to work all the way up into april and i'm already in april like i'm proud of myself um but i'm still waiting on my books you guys and normally i get my books really really early but this time around i kind of waited to see if we really did need books because nine out of ten the last couple times that i ordered books i didn't even use them so it was just a waste of money and time of even going to get some books so now i actually need books and i'm still waiting on them so it's like okay because i have work to do in those books and they need to get here so I can turn my work in on time. So I'm a little nervous, but uh, I'm believing that it's going to be here by the time that he says it's going to be here. So I'm going to I'm gonna be believing in that. So yeah. Let me take a bite because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten any breakfast or anything. Mm, it don't even look that satisfying like it normally do. And normally, you guys, I get the grilled salad, but I got the uh, the country fried steak or whatever you want to call it, crispy, whatever. Mm. This is my part. It's all right. But anyway, let's get back to it. So. Like I said, one tip that you guys can use is if any teacher give you guys any work ahead of time or early and give you more than enough time, then there should be no excuses for you to be like last minute. Because in college, they definitely not going to hold your hand. They'll tell you maybe once, maybe twice if they grace, if they, you know, nice like that, I guess you can say. But basically, you, you on your own. And especially since we're, we're at home online. Oh, yeah, I'm staying home this semester. But technically, I can still go back because I still have my room in college, my dorm room. So my stuff is still there. So we'll go back whenever they get it. But, yeah, so that's why I'm still in this purple background because I'm still at home. Because, you know, if all my classes are like Zoom, then it's like kind of like ain't no sense of really being there physically, I guess. But another thing is, but when junior year comes, I'm definitely going back or whatever because I'm trying to work actually on campus and we're going to see how that goes. Okay. And then another thing that you guys want to do is print off y'all syllabus or syllabi. I hate people when they be like syllabi. How it looks on paper, it seems as you would pronounce it syllabus. But I don't know if it's because where I'm from or how I've been taught in elementary. 
I always heard silly beast. Even the teachers make a mistake and say silly beast, so it gotta be silly beast. So now it's on the syllabi. But silly beast or syllabi basically tells you how the class is going to be operated as far as grades, assignments, and exams and homeworks. It gives you a description of how that is. So make sure you guys print out y'all syllabus because they can help you in the long haul. If you have any questions, all you gotta do is go back to your syllabus and they can answer instead of going to the teacher when they're gonna tell you. It's in the syllabus if you read it. Some of them will be like that and some of them they'll go ahead and tell you, but then they'll say prefer the questions, like those kind of questions. Look back in your syllabus for those kind of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, then, um, and then for like zoom classes if you guys have any zoom classes and you forget what i did was i have this app called alarm and basically i put all my times that my classes start not exactly when they start but like maybe a few minutes before or if I have a morning class, I do an hour before so I can get up and get ready and get dressed because you still have to do this if you were in in-person classes. I would get up, take care of shower, bath, brush your teeth and stuff like that because we got to show our faces. So you want to look presentable at least. So you still have to do that. Well, for me, but if you do too, then I suggest you set enough time. I suggest you need to set aside enough time for you to get ready so if you one of those people that take showers for two hours and your class start at eight o'clock then you need to get up at six o'clock because if you wake up at 30 well not 8 30 but 7 30 and your class start at eight o'clock mm -mm, that's not gonna work no My Monday <clears throat> and Wednesday class is where I have three, they're back to back. So 9.05 to 10 o'clock, then 10.10 10 to 11.05, and then 11.15 to 12.10 or something like that. 12.15, yeah. So there are 55 minute classes. That my 9.05 class last Wednesday, we ended pretty early. We was only in there for about 20 minutes, so I got a feeling this class is probably going to end early, depending on my class participation as far as they have any questions or if they're actively dis discussing the reading that we read or something like that. So it depends on that. But my other classes, like my math class and English lecture class, they let us know that, oh, you're not going to get out early. You're going to stay until the time I have you. They made that clear the first day. And I'm like, oh, really? But you got to think about it because if you was in person, they weren't going to let you out early, depending on if it's like an exam day or something. And you get done early, then they'll let you go. But it just it, it all depends on what kind of teacher and professor you take as well or have. It all depends on them. I can't say every teacher you have is it is gonna say you gotta say the full time. It you know you got teachers that get straight to the point. Then I'm like after they done they say any questions or anything. And if you do email me or call me or text me, you dismiss. But. It depends on the future. 100%. It depends on the teacher. But I just haven't been so bad, y'all. You know, of course, going into freshman year, I was nervous, but then going to sophomore year, I'm like, okay. I get the gist of it. 
okay and it's just like i have to learn to calm down that's one thing because i'm a person who like i get nervous about the little stuff because i'm like i just want to make sure i understand it i get it and i pass it that's the goal because i don't need to be taking classes and not understanding and not passing i need to understand in order to pass this class because i'm gonna need it like my math uh, 15 practice class statistics is mandatory i gotta take it so either way i'm gonna have to take it no matter what i gotta take it because you know depending on your school and depending on your major you have that class some places that you have to take it's mandatory by the school and it's mandatory in your major so no matter what year or what semester you take it you can't get around it because honestly i probably probably been probably been took statistics but you know they gave it to well well, they gave it to me this semester because, of course, you have those meetings with your advisors and then they'll tell you, okay, you need to take this semester's or this is what you need or this is what is left that you need to take where uh, before your junior year or whatever the case may be or by your junior year. So, but can, can y'all believe next semester I'm going to be a junior in college and then I'm going to be a senior? That's crazy. I can't even tell you guys how bad that time feels like just two years ago now it's been completely two years ago that i graduated from high school and now i'm in the middle in the slat down middle of college like i got a feeling this semester is going to go by fast fingers crossed If you guys are in school tell me if you guys are in college high school and tell me how it's going for y'all and if you guys have any tips for me that's great or if i cover everything and if you like all the tips that i gave you then that's great i want to help you guys use it to the best of your ability getting better now y'all just gotta keep eating it yeah this is really random tell me if y'all think that uh cucumbers kind of taste like watermelon but just a different color i just get that vibe comment down below tell me what y'all think I'm not gonna probably make this video too too long, but I'm trying to figure out what else tips I can give you guys. So make sure you get up in enough time to get ready for your Zoom classes, or if you still have in-person classes, make sure you set an alarm, or you can download the app that I have. It's called Alarm. But I'm gonna insert it, folks, so y'all can know what it looks like. If you guys have got an app. If you guys got an iPhone, then I'm going to insert it, how the app looks, and stuff like that. And then, um, what else? Make sure you guys print out your teacher's syllabus or syllabi, and it tells you a description of how the class is going to run and when our assignments do. And then, of course, you can have a hard copy as well as it tells you on your school's website where you do your assignments in. Um, and if your teacher asks you to do something before the next class period, make sure you do so. Don't be that don't be that one to be last minute because if I've learned anything, a last minute is not a good thing. And for me, I try to do so way ahead of time. If not ahead of time, then by the necessary due date and deadline. And that's just that it's it's so simple you guys and we don't have to make things harder on ourselves than the circumstances already are so let's just try to make it easy as possible for ourselves so we can get to the next level in, in life and have a very successful career the 
we don't got time for the shenanigans. We don't. Well, I know I don't. I'm trying to get somewhere one day. <laughs> and I will hope you guys will want to and will like it as well. Yeah, I've been drinking water every day. I'm slowly trying to transition to things. So, me drinking water every day, letting go meats, certain meats, little by little, or not even eating meat every single day, maybe once or twice or three times a week to eat meat, depending. So, but my, um, my update weight loss journey is coming up pretty soon and within like the next two, next, next week or two weeks. So that week you'll get three videos. Um, I think, when does February start? I think in the next two weeks, you'll get the update. Hopefully y'all lost some weight because I haven't weighed myself into, I haven't weighed myself. The last time I weighed myself was January 1st. But I was telling you guys, I'm going to weigh myself every first of every month because what special way to do that? And my birthday is September 1st, so that is so perfect. So, yeah. Well, nothing is perfect, but it is just so crazy how that lines up the way I'm trying to do stuff. And I've been thinking about that until a little late. I'm like, you know what? I didn't realize how my birthday is on the 1st. And then me weighing in first of the month, I think that's pretty cool. But you guys will get that within the next couple of weeks as far as the update. So hopefully I lost some type of weight. But um, if not, but we're not going to be saying that. We're just going to have to figure out what's going to work for me. How can I change the food and be flexible about it? So, hmm. But yeah, so that's my advice to you guys. So, I'm gonna end the video right here, you guys. I'm gonna end the video right here because I'm pretty much done with this. Now I don't wanna, I don't wanna continue to force myself. And, if you guys want any additional tips for me or another video, me going into more details as far as how to be a productive and active college student or even high school student as well, then I would be more than happy to give you that advice, what I've learned and what I've seen and what's worked for me in this life, in this school life, in this school world, I would be more than happy to do so. But as you all know, before you click off this video, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and share this video. Because if you share this video with people that you know, and then they can share people with people that they know, this whole series and this whole channel of ours is going to go so far. So that's the goal for this, you guys, is to get more subscribers you know, continue to share my life and my journeys and hope that you guys get inspired by any one of my videos, whether it's just something I did on Fun Friday, something that I did on Mustang Mondays, or something that I just did in my daily vlogs. Hopefully, I have something on this channel that is to your liking and that and if it's anything that you want to see more of, also tell me because if you don't tell me, then how I'm supposed to know what kind of stuff you guys want to see for the next one or for the next one after that. It's up to you guys to let me know what you guys want to see or else I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be confused. I'm going to be lost and we don't want it's your girl here to be lost or confused. We, don't, we want her to be about her business and on her P's and Q's, right? Okay. So, yeah, like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. And make sure you keep those post notification bells on because that's the only way that you're going to ever know that I ever posted something. And if you guys didn't know, I also posted a video Friday for Fun Friday. Every Friday is a guaranteed video. So go check that out. Before you, uh, go check that out immediately. 
like right after this and then you'll be all caught up if you haven't known because i know i didn't post for a little bit but we're gonna get back on track so that's all that matters but yeah so stay tuned to my next video bye <music>